Hey everybody and welcome to AJS News. This is the second video, the all cyberpunk video we have for you this week. <laughs> Gaming news video, go check it out. That's the first of two. This is the second of two. But first, a word from our very important sponsors. Joe, we've been wrapping that thing for an hour. We gotta go. Alright, alright. I, I think I'm done. What do you guys think of my package? Huh? I can't even see your package under. What is that? What do you mean? It's nice and festive. If, Joe, if I found that under my tree, I would burn it. Awful. Ugh. It's absolutely awful. What? You gotta work on your presentation, man. Seriously, get a better package. Whoa, this looks way better. That's a package that someone's actually gonna want again. Nice. Look at that. That's clean. Thank you. That it took is me clean. A bit. Thanks I for like the help. It. Very nice, very nice. Grab that ball toner, that deodorant, and that lawnmower 3.0. And get 20% off right now with free shipping if you go to www.manscape.com backslash angry Jojo. The coupon is automatically applied with that link. Now look at that. Isn't that way better? Yeah, it right? looks very good, it's Joe. Great. I don't know why it's leaning towards the what left, do you mean? Joe. <laughs> you needed to package that it's little. It's a little heavy on this side. Okay, right? got a little heavy on that side. I wonder what is in that. You Gosh, gotta find. You gotta wait no till Christmas. Idea. You know, but it looks nice. You know who, who you're giving that gift to? Yeah. Uh, what? I oh. gave you that on, and then I give you this. I gave it to you on oh. this one, and you give it to the, on this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate elephant. that, Joe. White elephant <laughs> gift. Guys, Manscaped right now. Grab it for the holidays. Give it as a gift for yourself. Treat yourself. Don't mm -hmm. cheat yourself. Or give it as a gift to your, your father, uncle, family, friends. It's a great idea. Click those links below. Get yourself a percent off. Trust me, guys. You'll feel great. You feel great. You smell great. That's the way to do it. Um, just play games with clean balls. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to do it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll help you so spread a lot more than holiday cheer, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, right. Give the gift that people really want. Yes. Holidays. <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise. Everybody All right, knows. let's get to cyberpunk. All right, cyberpunk news. All right, so cyberpunk uh, came out this week. Yes. Uh, it and we're talking about. Uh, did. It came out the, the last week, which is, yeah. 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 Only good news for the first half of this video, then we'll get into the other stuff. Oh, okay. So Only right now news. we're talking about the good Only stuff. Only good news. It's fucking awesome. I love the fucking story. It's yes. I'm I am I am actually enjoying myself mm -hmm. when it works. Yes. <clears throat> so Cyberpunk uh, had a an amazing launch day one. Did you know that it is the second biggest retail launch of the year in the UK? God damn. Jesus. Second. Second. What, what was the first? FIFA. You fucking knobs! You fucking knobs! What did I tell you? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what accent I'm doing here. You fuck, you fuck, you fucked up, mate. Yeah. Damn no, that would be Australians. <laughs> you fucked up, chat. Is it donut? Chap. Right. Oh yeah, lad. Donut. You fucked up, lad. Donut. They call it the a new slang for as a donut. donut. Yeah, Flippy was Donut. telling us they call them donuts. Whatever. All right, so, uh, yeah, it was the second biggest launch so far this year because uh, FIFA, they won't stop buying the damn thing in the U.K., but I it still did it. really well. Uh, the pre-orders were actually 74% 70, digital. They killed it. They did so well mm -hmm. on its initial sale. According to CD Projekt Red, they have recouped 100% of the develop co development costs already. On Jeez. digital only, meaning... The retail copies, which mm -hmm. that didn't include, yeah. is all profit. Yes. And then all sales from this point forward is all profit. Mm -hmm. So they did well. Gravy, terms, so to speak. Yes, sir. Um, first day. Right. They did great. Right yeah. They, they, did, they did amazing. And, and <laughs> so moving forward. for sales, it was absolutely incredible for them. Uh, we haven't gotten the Steam versus GOG numbers, but we did find out from Steam is – Cyberpunk has already passed the 1 million concurrent users on Steam. It set new records. It was the largest. It was the most people playing any one single-player game 
ever. There yeah. are multiplayer games like PUBG that, have, that, that yeah. were higher, but people playing by themselves, it was the most played game of all time. Well, over one million people watching on Twitch. Yeah. It turned... Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like it was a global phenomenon. Everywhere. Everyone was either watching, they were playing, or they were hiding from it, waiting to play you know, later on. <coughs> um, but it was it was really big, a uh, really big deal for Cyberpunk. So really good financial launch for them. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Though I thought their stock prices fell. Maybe well, they're rising now. I we are know. getting to the, the so that's the end of the good portion oh, yeah. of, of the release. So I was like, we're still in the good. I was no. like, well, okay. it's good yeah. for gotcha. them, Great. but but it turned out that the launch was such a horrible shit show. Even with the day one patch on the older consoles and even some of the newer consoles on lower performing PCs and even on higher performing PCs, there were so many bugs. There were so yep. many performance issues, and we're talking about game breaking bugs too. Your car would flip over and it would kill you. NPC wouldn't spawn and you couldn't get them to spawn so you could not progress in the story because the NPCs would be like it, they're the laundry list of bugs Such that were in the mess. game now here comes the army of neckbeards in our comments was like I ran into no issues on my 3070 and my 1080 and my, on my, mm -hmm. my mega PC uh, he's referring to issues that were on the PlayStation 4 the Xbox One uh, <laughs> e hell we have a badass computer here and even us were running we were into having issues, issues with them as well. Of course we you got this guy, so yeah. a what little bit of an X factor on, on OJ <laughs> yeah. breaking stuff. But you know what we mean. Yeah, there was a, there's a definitely a difference too, right? Because there's there's visual uh, performance problems which some of these high end PCs won't have, right? Yeah. They won't have the faces going completely smooth, <laughs> creepy, you know. Bat, yeah, like those. horror movie thing into like f in full faces. Craig, I mean Cyber Craig. Yeah, and there's all there's all sorts of weird things, but the the bugs of NPCs just being gone was actually part of the game itself, regardless of what how powerful your PC were. Sometimes they would just go away, and so that was something that the day one patch helped a little bit. I noticed personally that uh, on PlayStation Four, after the 1.0 1.04 patch. Four. It actually ran pretty well. Before yeah. then, it did not run pretty well. Yeah, yeah and so yeah, our, our friend Jacob. Yeah, the, he said the patch really saw, helped. Really, really we helped. We saw like frame rate was terrible. You fire a gun and it almost crashes yeah. the system <laughs> and goes a blue screen. Bullet. You could watch follow a bullet out. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's been uh, actually but been pretty good. The patch actually did well. Yeah, played it all weekend. Almost no issues whatsoever. I mean, there's a lot of you know face pop in and stuff. It was so bad though that CD Projekt Red actually saw fit to apologize. Now this is the this is the first of the negative stories. So they actually put out an acknowledgement saying, look, we, we fucked up. We put it out. You done fucked up. Yeah. They, they're, we, they're fucked up. We, we done fucked up. And so they are acknowledging that, look, this is a buggy mess. We are working really hard to fix it. Hopefully the, the day two or three patch helped. There's going to be another patch this month. There's going to be another patch in January. There's going to be another patch in February. <laughs> February and yeah. they're going to continue Probably working. Probably another patch in March. Yes. Um, Look, you know, it's it's great. They are uh, they apologize and they're offering refunds to those who wanted it. But honestly, this should have never happened in the first place. No, never happened in the first place. And um, should have postponed. Here, yeah. it, it, what makes Would've it worse mad. is that they clearly knew what they were releasing. The higher ups definitely knew the game was not, you know, uh, ready, Finished. and they were forced to push it out. Whether that's from their Xbox, uh, whether that's from their partners, uh, Xbox. I, I want to look at somebody else other than CD Projekt Red, right? <laughs> but maybe it's honestly, I guess the bucks does stop with CD Projekt Red, uh, you know, executives and and and, and higher ups, um, because that should have never happened. And uh, they clearly knew that it was not in a state to release. Why oh, not sure. delay it another three months? Well, because on <laughs> social media, they felt trapped. They felt like gamers are screaming at them to release it. And I, already there's gamers defending the release, you, you know, because they put the little image of, I ah, release the game. The game comes out broke. Ah, fix the game. You know, it's like, no, nobody was asking for the game to be released ready. before it was ready, uh, except for idiots and impatient children, right? Uh, you need to get it right the first time. And I just h had hoped that they would have sticked to their own word. You remember in the trailer itself, it said, what's well, the release day coming when it's ready? Yeah. What well, came? One ready. It One wasn't ready. ready. Well, what makes this that problem? What How do you come? Unprepared. Unready. Oh, not ready. Keanu. <laughs> Wait, what? what it's a, I don't know. It's a meme going out. It's a, yeah, you know, the come thing from, from Keanu. Well, what makes the problem that you just presented even worse is because we knew that they had so many pre-orders, enough pre-orders and day one sales to make back all of their development costs in one day. Yeah. There was no financial reason for them to not delay it because a lot of times when you have. I, I, I sus I'm suspect on that, mm -hmm. what you just said. Because I don't understand why they wouldn't. I think that if they would have announced another release, uh, another delay, 
there would have been financial impact. You would have lost some pre-orders. Mm-hmm. You would have lost stock price. You would have oh, lost sure. confidence in your investors. Even though these people don't know how the gaming industry works, and you got to release it, you know, and and so then they would have lost face on some of that, and so they felt the pressure to release it now. That's but what I was. I felt like they felt they were backed into a corner, but yeah. I do think that they had the option to then go another three months or another six months, especially after Halo announced their big their fucking. Big delay which you know and then that that lends some um skepticism to xbox being the one pressuring them right because they lost xbox lost their own big huge title that was going to sell their xbox series x i mean they probably cared more about releasing halo on time than they did cyberpunk and then when they lost halo maybe that made them Mm. do even more on cyberpunk or cyberpunk should have been like look halo we we have to delay as well uh, Should have, yeah. You know, but Agreed. that's that's in that fantasy scenario that it's not CD Projekt Red's fault and that they're somehow not in control of their own mm-hmm. IP and Xbox is telling them, no, push it out now because of the holidays. No, it wasn't. It was CD Projekt Red's fault. Why? Money. Yeah. And, and so, like, that, what I was going back to is I just don't think that there exists a world where they would not have recouped that eight years' worth of development costs outside of the first two weeks, regardless yeah. if it was delayed or not. Now, you mentioned stock price. You're absolutely right. Delaying it would have lowered the stock price. Putting it on unfinished... Uh, the next part of this story is putting out an unfinished date also affected their stock price. 29% drop in their stock price. Six wow. billion dollar company. Billion, with a B. It's a lot of money that wow. they lost in value in the 20. company. That is huge. It's, it's immediately Nearly overnight. 30. So... I'm sure it's starting to recover a little bit now. It has. And so actually, if you actually look at where it's at and where it was about six months ago, it's not too far off. There was a huge bump in about November when everyone was really high up on like, man, this this company's going to do it. It's finally coming out. And so that number may be a little misleading because there was a bit of a surge. They lost all of that surge and maybe a little beyond that. But it's going to continue to do well because they've recouped all of their money on the first day, even with a shitty mess. And it's going to continue to get better just and went, better and better. Yeah. They just dipped their toe in the live service mess. They mm-hmm. thought, you know what? Todd oh, Howard. CD Projekt Red, we can fix it later. We will it's be fixing it start. later. Their toe <laughs> no. is in it. Now their whole body's in it. Fuck They're like, don't. Todd I'm going to make sure that we do December. We're going to make sure we do November. We're going to make sure or, uh, January. We're going to make sure we do February. We're going to constantly make this thing better. And if there's one company that I know will do it and that I know will it's stay them. committed yeah. to uh, improving their game, it is CD Projekt Red. But it is shameful that it happened in the first place, and it was motivations that were uh, not good. Mm-hmm. Not good to release this thing in the state that it was. Or at the very least, if they thought that, you know, <clears throat> that the console, uh, that the PC versions were ready, which they weren't, but at least delay the console versions. They could have been like, look, we're, you know, the console ones are not ready. We need a little For more sure. time because those are older gen hardware. And I think even the investors would be like, mm, OK, I'm not going to freak out that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it may be per- the, the development team's just like, no, tell you what, sell it now. It'll be it, the it'll be a playable before Christmas. Yeah. First couple of weeks will be I, bad, but playable. I Christmas. want Jason to do some kind of, you know, expose He's put out some, on it yeah. because like I have no idea why they're doing it. Because like you said, I agree with you that I think. Even if they did delay it three months or six months, they would have still made just as much money. They would have recouped it, and it would have been less of a PR disaster. It would yeah. have less of a stain on them. You know, you we're talking about how their bonuses uh, well, right, are connected there. to. Go ahead. Oh, well, uh, well, so oh, well, we'll get to one of the last things. So Sony, this the release was so bad. Uh, we were actually talking about this on stream where someone's like, I want to refund this for my PlayStation 4, yeah, but I can't. I, I was like, no, you absolutely it. can. If a game does not work and you purchase it on PlayStation, they will absolutely give you your money back. All your, And that's true. That's actually correct. Sony Sony said no. Sony has begun refunding. Years. Unhappy Cyberpunk 20. The, the Sony is now refunding everyone with on PlayStation 4. If you bought it on PlayStation and you want a refund, it's, like, it's broken. You can you can get a refund from, uh, from doing it. No, so. right now, there's a few people tweeting at me responses from Sony that says, no, you can't get a refund for this. We can't. These are the reasons we we need to validate your this and that. They're they're giving them the runaround. So right now the message has not fully as of mm-hmm. Monday, December mm-hmm. whatever it is, it's not December fully in fourteenth. It's not fully implemented. Some people are having trouble getting refunds. Yeah, I have no doubt that like if you try to go through normal messages, most almost all of the people who announced that they did it, they said they called them up the second they got on the phone with the customer service person, the refund was immediately were immediately handled and mm-hmm. taken out of their their library. So it is a so process. Keep trying. Keep trying if you're trying to get your money back. But honestly, I, I would stick with it a little bit. I, I think the game is fun enough, mm-hmm. interesting enough. 
uh, an achievement in certain aspects that that just stick with it in CD Projekt. And it's Red playable Red. now. I, yeah. I, I get, and that's from personal experience. It is playable <laughs> on the PlayStation 4. It doesn't look. I never had any problems. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, you played on your new PC. I did. Yeah. Yeah, so on the old P- PS4, it still <laughs> runs. It still runs all right. Well, Jason, you mentioned Jason Schreier, so he did a, an article. So you come over to my house and you break my PC mm. and my. I copy. think it's whenever. Then when you go to your house, it runs perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Uh-huh. I'm like the Invisible Man. Like you can't see me when you don't look at me. <laughs> oh, from Mystery <laughs> I Man. I break nothing if nobody watches me. If yeah. everybody, if somebody was watching me, something's gonna go wrong. That happens. <laughs> um, so this this was bad news though the, the bad everything about Cyberpunk was bad news for the developers right because yeah. typically if games do well developers get money for the game doing well and mm-hmm. that's what Cyberpunk had for the game saying as long as the game hits these metrics you'll get paid um there's a really weird kind of bullshit system according to Jason Schreier he said that the bonus system for CD Projekt um developers working on the game uh lead, uh, team leaders could give out tokens uh, if you worked hard, and only if you worked hard, and then later on, if the game did very well, you could cash those tokens in for a bonus. Um, that seems like a really bad system. What? And it's just like favorite. Tip- if I don't go out for drinks on Thursday night with my manager, who's got all the tokens, he probably ain't giving me no tokens. Well, there was all, all, also optional. For tokens, I gotta suck them off for them tokens. You know. Well, there's also <laughs> people who who put in a lot of extra hours and self-imposed crunch. You know, they were. Forcing themselves to do these things in hopes yeah. of getting more and tokens. You're, and you're what, the one employee is like, guys, we cannot release this. Please look. Here's this problem. No like, you ain't getting no tokens, motherfucker. Yeah, no tokens for you. As so originally, these people weren't going to get paid anything for those tokens. They put in all this crunch time because it didn't hit the Metacritic scores that were, yeah. that were required. Now, the executives have come out and said, look, this is on us. We forced the game to be put out in this position. We didn't give them enough oh, time really? to do that. You got caught with your pants down? Really? Okay, mm. so now you want to admit, okay, yeah, well, you had no choice. Yeah, so we got they will pay full performance bonuses regardless <laughs> of the critical reception of the game. Um, and so that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, if you it's were a, a good thing. So they got caught. Red-handed, and they're like, okay, well, we won't tie it to Metacritic scores. But uh, still, you the know. token is, sounds kind of weird. That sounds very weird. I don't know what the hell that is. If that's legit, obviously, allegedly. Yeah. Right? I According mean, to Jason yeah. Schreier is not like he's he's typically very good with the research <laughs> and vetting people who send him information. So I, I typically believe everything that he's he's typing up. So it's a PR thing that's for them. A disaster. Yeah. Again, uh, they made so much money that it d- probably doesn't cost them anything to give these bonuses out. It was probably built into the cost anyway. Mm-hmm. And I know they couldn't have taken another PR beating. So if they're like, well, technically we're not giving you this thing. You're talking about people being disappointed with them to people like riding against riding yeah. against them. So I think they, they were yeah. kind of forced into doing this. You know, uh, the way I look at it is, you know, Reward those that did the hard work for you, CD Projekt Red, because you're going to need those people in the future for Cyberpunk 2. Because this just thing fixing is the game now. <laughs> fixing the game now, right? But also, you want to make this a franchise. You know this is a franchise. It, you yourself released a little early. You yourself are taking a little bit of a hit. But remember, um, to be perfectly honest, this is CD Projekt Red's first massive open world, right? O- RPG type of thing. Uh, you know, they're going to be compared to Rockstar Grand Theft Auto, which has been doing it for decades, right? They've, they're on the fifth game, sixth game now. Uh, and I've seen comparison videos like, look, this, uh, that you can't shoot out the tires in, the, in Cyberpunk. And so it's a piece of shit. And, you know, all these other things. It's like, the, imagine, you know, this is like Cyberpunk 1, not Cyberpunk 5. It's not taking, you know, and this is the first time they're doing it. So, you got to you got to give them at least a little bit of credit for it's like let's jump into a whole new world. Let's try to, you know, be ambitious as hell. And yes, that ambition was chipped away at and features were dropped and things were dropped. And it, it's just a big dis- honestly it's a disaster. It's a mess because we've been waiting for 7 years, mm-hmm. you know, may- maybe eight, eight. I think it's 7, 7 or 8. And uh, this is the state it came out in. It feels more like we got introduced to early access rather than, you know, a full polished release. Yeah. Witcher 3 was rough at release 2, and it got better, but it wasn't this rough at release. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm just hoping that they can 
that can fix this. Well, they've well, got a good team, so. They do have a good I team, yeah. I believe in them. The, the, the difficult thing is, as you know, someone trying to review the game and not just sit and enjoy the game, is like you have to constantly be aware of your own CD Projekt Red bias because you love the company. They put mm-hmm. out a lot of great things. You know, Typically, they're treating people. There is some crunch, and there's some other things, but people have always just been like, oh, they're going to be amazing. They're going to do all these other things. It's just like looking at them and trying to, you know, from a critic's point of view and just say, man, i got to give you the same shit that I give Ubisoft. Yeah, Bethesda the- does not get a pass yeah. from us for Fallout 76. Yeah. Why the fuck should CD Project Red? Yeah. In fact, CD Project Red should probably get yelled at more than I'm yelling at. You them are right the chosen now, one, yeah. right? Because they <laughs> they are the example, and you know that is going to be reflected in the review uh, on its release date, and then as these patches come out, and if we're still playing it while we're reviewing it, which we are, I'm taking my freaking time. I actually had to go away for a day or, or two, so we had to we're we're a day or two behind, but um, you know. It's going to be reflected in the review, as it should be, because yeah. that's the state that it came out in. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's all. Any other cyberpunk-related news, or actually anything else at all that you want to talk about this week? Uh, no. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. Just that that cyberpunk, unfortunately, uh, the state that it's in. Um, I think all three of us agree that it came out unacceptably on the consoles, but as these patches are coming out, yeah. it's getting a little it's better. better. It's playable and for sure. It's well. It was in, in many cases it was already playable. You just had to push through and be like, "Man, that sucks." It's oh, I mean, like on PS4, like you're, you think yeah, yeah. would just crash. And yeah, um, super laggy. But <sighs> fuck, man, it's a shame. Yeah, we overhyped ourselves sometimes. Well, I did. No, I I did my best to tell mm-hmm. people on the news. We said it all I'm the time. Well, I didn't know it was gonna that. be like uh, that. I was like, this guys, buggy. put your Right, no, you. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I thought at least it would have some amount of polish. Like and some, be ready. yeah, like some, like oh, that's funny. Glitch. Out when it's ready, not when like ready. this is unacceptable. You're like walking in like a fucking robot, or you're, well, you're or, or a car gets flung at you from 500 <laughs> yes. yards away, and it's just like ah, oh, and it smashes you. It's just like what the hell <laughs> Where is did happening? That come from? <laughs> yeah, yep. Uh, well, that's it. So, uh, you know, it'll get better. Uh, please uh, be patient on our review. I probably got another week left on it, week or two. I mean, our Witcher 3 review didn't come out until like three weeks, four weeks after release. Uh, same with the Cyberpunk. With these bigger games, I I play a fuck ton of it before I feel comfortable reviewing it. Uh, I can already give you a mini review. I like it. I don't think it's a bad game. I don't think it's a terrible game. I'm just... Uh, I'm just in shock at, at how it was released because I thought that they would do the right thing. And, um, you know, so they could do the right thing now. All right, guys. Hopefully. Uh, thank you to Manscaped uh, for making our packages look fucking amazing. And they can make your packages look amazing <laughs> this Christmas. Turn your junk into a gift. Yeah. <laughs> Click those links what down could below. This be? <laughs> thank you so for supporting us. Why are you us. gripping the. And Manscaped and uh, support yourself and treat yourself by uh, getting yourself some Manscaped or your friends or family. So thank you so much, guys. We will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.